Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. I look a little bit flat it's and pale. It's because I don't have any bronzer or blush or highlight on my face, but I do have my base. And today I am going to try the Pixi very overhyped product, especially on TikTok, on my face. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, I'm really, I'm excited. I still have pain in my arm, but it's getting better. Uh, I've seen these on TikTok. I've seen these on everywhere. These are on the glow bronzer, on the glow blush, and on the go highlighter. I think the highlighter was the first product that was released. And then I think bronzer and then blushes or blushes and bronzer. But I know the highlighter was the first. I'm going to use them. They're cream. Uh, cream products. On my face, I do have the um, Vanish from Hourglass, this, come on, this airbrush primer. I really like this. <clears throat> on my T-zone, I did use this from NJC Matte base primer just on my t-zone because i get very oily for the foundation i did use today the nyx blur foundation i also did use the huda beauty concealer as a concealer and i did set just this part on my eyes um with the huda beauty powder on my eyes, I do have a palette, and this makeup look is on my channel, one of the smoky makeup looks for Valentine. This is Pat McGrath's Mothership palette. I think this is number one. I don't know which number this is, but it's this one. I've just, I purchased it last month, actually. Um, I haven't, I didn't have this, I didn't have this for a long time. I purchased it in December, and I don't know, it's, I don't know which palette it is, but let me show you the details so you can, if you're interest, interested, you can search this. And my fingerprints, sorry for that. Okay. But I will put the link up here for this makeup look. So we are going to go, I'm going to go with the bronzer shade. I do have two shades. I do have, uh, what's this one? This is the... There are three, four shades. I think I have the two in the center. I am going to go in with this deepest shade, I think it is. Rich Glow. So I do have Soft Glow and Rich glow, glow. I'm going to go for the Rich one, Rich Glow, because I think they're not too pigmented. Packaging looks like this. And this is the product. So I'm going to swatch it. Oh, it's definitely bronzy. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go in. Let's go in with the bronze. And see, I'm going to go right in the. I'm going to go right in my on my makeup. I hope it won't rem remove my makeup. I'm kind of scared. Let's see. Oh, I hope it won't remove my foundation. Okay, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this on the one side of my face. I'm going to go with this brush. It's clean, it's just... Okay, it's not blending with the brush. Let's go with a sponge. So this is blending and it's definitely, I don't know if you can see any difference, it's definitely giving me this soft, but this dried down really fast on this foundation. I'm going, I'm going to put a lot on this on my sponge. Let's apply it like that. It 
It's definitely going on nice on my face, actually. I really like it. Ooh, I like that. I mean, I really like that. So this is definitely working really nice, giving me the nice, soft, bronzy look. I like that. I like that. This will be perfect for the summer. Perfect for the summer or perfect for, I'm just keep, keep I, I, you can definitely apply this on the foundation directly or on a brush, but I'm, I'm using it like this. Okay. I'm losing it like this. But I do like how it actually warms up the face. Now you've seen the difference. And this is really nice. I like that. I really like that. So the bronzer, it's a big yes. I really like the bronzer. I don't know if I'm going to need to to try the other color. Uh, but so far, this one is really, really nice. I like that. Okay, are we ready for the blush? Now, the blush was sold out everywhere, but I did get this color and I actually like, like this color. They are not too pigmented. This color looks really scary if you look at it like this. But you know what? I also really love red blushes. So this is the color. Let's swatch it here. Look at that. That's nice. Okay. Let's um, try apply it like this. Ooh. Could definitely be a mistake. This is definitely blending with a sponge and it's not removing my foundation. It's just giving me this winter look. I like that. I mean, it's blended really nice. Uh, I, br I did bring it a little bit too much on this side. And um, let's try and apply it like this with a sponge. See how this is going. Oh, well, okay. I applied a little bit too much, but it's blending. You see, it's blending really, really easily. Oh, I love that. So I like the blush too. It definitely want more. It definitely blended really, really nice. Ooh, love the blush too. I need to remove it from my arm before, or it will get everywhere. But it dries down really, and it, when it dries down, it doesn't move anywhere. Can you see? So it will stay on the skin for a very long time, which is really good. That's what we want. We don't want sometimes, uh, or I was in the beginning really afraid because I have oily skin to use cream product because I thought that they will melt away when my oils come through. But I learned that that's not the case. It actually works better. Now we do have the highlighter, which I'm sure is beautiful. Pixie has some amazing highlighters and it's one of my best formulas too. Uh, but I haven't used this one, so let's use the highlighter. And for the highlighter, I am... Am I going to swatch it? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, I don't, can you see it even? I don't think you can see it. No, it's on the wrong side. Let's try it here. Can you see it? No, but maybe you can see it on my face. So I'm going to put a lot of it on my finger. And... Let's go. Oh, wow. This is uh, not so pigmented. It actually just give you that nice, healthy glow. Oh, I love that. Can you see it? And it's melting. Oh, I love that. I really like the highlighter because it's really natural. Let's use it on top of the nose. Oh, it removed my foundation on my nose. So I had to reapply some uh, product on my nose because that highlighter did remove my foundation on the nose, but it didn't remove any foundation or any product here on the cheeks. And I think it's because I've been having problems with 
uh, applying or with products or cream products on my nose. It doesn't want to stick. So I'm going to set my face just because I need to. I get early only. But I'm not going to set where I have um, where I have it's called bronzer cream product so th just did I, I just set my t-zone I feel like I need another bronzer just to dip it up a little bit more but I really like how this look and I think I will use bronzer when I have like a tinted cream foundation or foundation that's light coverage or light medium coverage I think I will use this and may, maybe build it up because some right now when I have this a lot of makeup like, like I have right now it definitely needs to be more so this is def this is something for ma no makeup makeup look uh, really beautiful products and I really enjoy them so I'm really happy that I have these in my collection I wanted them for very long but they were sold out everywhere all of these products especially the the blushes and I really like the blushes I do have a lot of cream blushes so I'm not going to repurchase the other colors but I'm glad I have it in the collection so guys let me know down below if what do you think about this product did you try them what do you think them uh, think about them are you cur curious to try them do you want me to use them in another video where I don't have any foundation or where I have a more light tinted foundation or glow foundation let me know down below if you're curious to hear more thoughts about these products Thank you guys so much for watching. This video has been uh, this video was short, but I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.